Hi everyone, in this video we're going to perform some financial statement analysis related specifically to companies' receivables. So first up, something called the accounts receivable turnover ratio, and you see the equation down here, accounts receivable turnover equals your net credit sales divided by your average net accounts receivable. Now, what is this actually telling us about a company? Well, what it is saying is how often are you essentially collecting your average AR that you keep on hand, all right? That's, that's kind of what this tells us about a company. Now, in this case, I have um, some financial information from Macy's on display here. I have their income statement on the left. I have their balance sheet on the right. If I need credit sales, I'm going to look at the income statement. And notice the second line on their income statement. I apologize that it's a little blurry to read, but it says credit card revenues net. And I'm just going to do the most recent year. Um, and it says 771. Now, this is, of course, in millions, but I I'm going to ignore the millions because the balance sheet's in millions too. So it doesn't make any difference whether we put those zeros on there or not. So in the case of Macy's, their ART, their account receivable turnover, is going to be 771. It's already a net number for us. Over. We need average net AR. So I go to the balance sheet, and the second line under the current assets is receivables. Now, it does not specify right here on the balance sheet whether this is gross receivables or net receivables. However, I am going to take it at face value that this is probably net. If I went and looked in Macy's notes to the financials, I'm sure there is a section in the notes that says accounts receivable, and it will specify that what is on the balance sheet is net, and it will provide information there on what the gross is, what the allowance for doubtful accounts was. It'll give you all the details in the note. Um, but typically, if you just see receivables there um, without any qualifications, that's probably the net number. Now, I need the average receivables, so I'm going to look at last year's number, which was 400, and this year's number, which is 409, and I'm going to add those together, so 400 plus 409, and I'm going to divide those by 2, and fix my parentheses there, because it's the, the whole thing is on the bottom. And now I've set up my equation here, right? Net credit sales over average net accounts receivable, pull out my calculator, Figure out that bottom, 400 plus 409 divided by 2 gives us 404.5, so that's 771, um, 771 divided by 404.5, and that comes out to 771 divided by 404.5 equals 1 point, I'm going to just call that 1.91, okay? Now, again, wh what is this telling us about Macy's? Well, what this is really saying is... Macy's, on average, collects its, its average receivable balance approximately twice per year, 1.9 times per year. So all those credit sales end up making your account receivables go up. Of course, collections make your account receivable go down. By calculating this ratio, you are saying that on average, um, it takes Macy's, they, they, they are able to collect their average balance twice per year, okay? Now, the next one up, average collection period. Average collection period is actually derived from the accounts receivable turnover ratio. And you notice the formula down here. It's just 365, or the number of days in a year, divided by the accounts receivable turnover. And so if we calculate that for Macy's, remember, 365, we already figured out accounts receivable turnover, 1.91. Pull out my calculator. It'll be somewhere around 180 to 190, right? 365 divided by 1.91. Uh, looks like 190, I'm just around that to 191. What this is telling us is on average, it takes 191 days to collect the average balance in the AR account. And of course, that goes hand in hand with the turnover ratio, right? If you take 191 days to collect, then obviously you're only collecting about two times per year, okay? Um, this helps companies establish what is the liquidity in their receivables, right? Receivables should be pretty liquid. You should be able to convert them to cash um, um, pretty quickly. And so in the case of Macy's here, just on the surface, I would almost argue that um, taking half a year to collect your receivables uh, 
that seems a little long, just objectively speaking. Now, how could we check whether or not this is really good or bad? Well, we'd have to compare Macy's to other similar retailers and see how long is it taking them compared to the industry average? How long is it taking the industry average? Or even calculate this same ratio for Macy's last year or the year before. Is it getting better or worse for Macy's? Um, you want your collection period to be low, right? 191 days seems awfully long. So you'd like to see this number go down. And of course, if that number goes down, then by necessity, the accounts receivable turnover must go up. You've got to turn that AR over quicker, collect it quicker. All right, that's it. Just two simple analyses that companies can do to assess the liquidity of their receivables. I hope you found this helpful, and I hope you join me for another video.